Loner, dreamer, lover, rebel presents Life is like a Rubik's Cube Chapter 1 Life is full of twists and turns. Sometimes these twists and turns can have us feeling bright and yellow, like the sun rays. And usually, these moments are accompanied with a lot of green and financial success. In other times, these twists and turns can have us feeling sad and blue, or fiery and angry red. With these mood changes and twists and turns, it made me realize that maybe life is like an unsolved Rubik's Cube. A confusing puzzle that can be solved with faith, persistence, and a few twists and turns. Now before we begin on the journey of solving the Rubik's Cube, there is one important preliminary step you must first involve yourself in, and this is to believe. No matter how many skills you have or how talented you are, if you don't believe in your ability to solve the Rubik's Cube, then it will not happen. After you believe in yourself, there are four steps to solving the Rubik's Cube that can be applied to solving life. Life is like a Rubik's Cube. Chapter 2 The first step to solving the Rubik's Cube is to solve your cross. It is here you develop an intense desire and strong enough reason to keep you in the game. This is important because the right reason can make miracles happen. If you notice the cross resembles a plus sign, this is because the plus sign will keep you charged when your battery becomes drained. In this journey of life, your battery will become drained and you need something to keep you charged. After solving your cross, this will bring us to the second step in solving the Rubik's Cube. Life is like a Rubik's Cube. Chapter 3 The second step in solving the Rubik's Cube is to fill in the corners. Filling in the corners is simply surrounding yourself with people who will push and motivate you to be the best version of yourself. These people will make you smarter. In addition to surrounding yourself with positive people, you must listen to motivational messages on a daily basis. We live in a negative world, and we must offset that negativity with some positivity. Why? Because we're an accumulation of what we allow to go into our minds. So after you solve your cross and fill in the corners, you will notice that you have an entire side of the Rubik's Cube solved. You also have the entire first row of the Rubik's Cube solved. That's a solid foundation. This brings us to our third step in solving the Rubik's Cube, which is to take it to the next level. Life is like a Rubik's Cube. Chapter 4 Taking it to the next level is continuing to grow and get better. This is important. Someone once said that many people die at 21, but they are not buried until 65. These people have become content with life. They've stopped growing and bettering themselves. After you take it to the next level, you'll notice that you have an entire side of the Rubik's Cube solved. And you also have the first two rows of the Rubik's Cube solved. You're essentially two-thirds of the way. The fourth step of the Rubik's Cube is to see the bigger picture. Life is like a Rubik's Cube. Chapter 5 The fourth step of the Rubik's Cube is to see the bigger picture. When it comes to solving the Rubik's Cube, you must make it important to keep your eye on what you set out to do. Oftentimes, many people can become content with partially solved cubes, partially using up their skills, gifts, and talents. You have to keep pushing, keep growing. You must set your eye on what you set out to do. You'll notice that it will get hard, but the darkest hour is right before the sunset. When you keep pushing, you'll get to the finish line, and you'll realize that you have solved your Rubik's Cube. Life is like a Rubik's Cube. Chapter 6 This is not about solving a Rubik's Cube. No. This is about solving life. Have you utilized these principles of solving the Rubik's Cube to solving your life? Do you believe in yourself? Have you solved your cross by developing an intense reason to keep you going and keep you pushing? 
Have you filled in your corners by surrounding yourself with positive people and listening to motivational messages on a daily basis? Do you take it to the next level by continuing to grow and to get better? Do you see the bigger picture or have you become sidetracked by frivolous things? If you have not answered yes to these questions, I highly encourage you to apply these principles of solving the Rubik's to solving your life. Then you can solve the Rubik's Cube inside of you.